Hello, welcome to Chism Prism. In this video, I'm gonna bring you guys a super easy and fun DIY project that I took on. I turned this old mirror that I had that I thrifted for like three bucks into this masterpiece. It's such a statement piece to have in your home and it's so trendy now. So definitely check out this full video if you wanna see how I turned this mirror into this piece of art. So this is a trend that I have been seeing around social media that has blown up and where people are just transforming their frames using spray foam. So here's the spray foam I use. It um, came off of Amazon. I'll put a link down below, but that's literally all you need. I was trying to create a different shape with this. I was trying to maybe do like a drip kind of effect, but in the end I did just remove that but for one please wear gloves when you're doing this the stuff can get really sticky and as it expands you just want to make sure that you're wearing clothes that you don't care about that you aren't touching it too much and just kind of let it do its thing it's not going to be a super neat outcome it's supposed to be a little more organic and it can be a little unpredictable in how it's going to grow, but if you just put on that nozzle and direct it as much as you can to the areas you want, it creates a really just nice form around your frame. So I did use that piece of cardboard to create that shape, but here you'll see me. I finally just decide like I don't like how it's growing <laughs> and I end up just pulling it apart and you can see what I mean by it being really sticky because the moment it touches something it just <laughs> doesn't want to leave it. You can see me struggling real hard but I'm glad I wear gloves there. Even though I didn't use this cardboard shape I think it could be another really cool project to shape out a piece of cardboard maybe in a, a wavy all the way around shape um, around a frame and then using the foam because I do think it's effective for enlarging the shape or if you want to abstract the the shape but here when it's finally dry I can touch it and it feels really cool actually and it's really hard and just think it's only foam so any pieces that have fallen off have hardened so you can just kind of scrape it off if it gets on anything so just loving how it turned out and then I ended up using my scraper and just it got on some pieces on the mirror but because it dried I was able just to to scrape it off and it wasn't an issue And then I was able to take some scrap pieces of paper and I wanted to cover the mirror part because I did want to paint it. So you see me here trying to struggle to get it under. I did do some finessing and kind of lifted up pieces of foam to shove paper in areas in the cracks and corners, but it all seemed to work out. And then just taping where needed. I get to take out some of my paint. I used some acrylic white and some gesso just to make it a little bit thicker and gave that a little bit of a mix. Got a big brush and just coated the whole thing. This did take a little bit of time because there's a lot of nooks and crannies. So I decided just to paint it white because I was unsure where exactly I wanted my house just yet and also what the color scheme will be. So I've, I kind of just left it white and I think I can go back and I'll paint it later once I have decided what color I want it to be. If you have any suggestions down below in the comments of what color you... <laughs> there, I dropped it. <laughs> um, 
if you have any suggestions of the color, go ahead and write it down below in the comments. I mean, I do like it being white, but I also love those really graphic colors of like an orange or a, a lime green that I've seen around on the internet. So I might go back and paint it. See, that's the thing. You can't really go wrong with this project. I mean, all you need is the spray foam. You create it around your frame or if you want to build a new frame like I can see myself doing this again for some of the art that I have hanging up like maybe I want to just embellish the frames a little bit more I just think it's a really cool idea and so simple anyone can do this I definitely will be doing this project again I, I did a couple of layers to make sure I covered it in the, as much as I could and did add a clear coat on it just so the paint sticks better. So the big reveal, um, I was so excited for this. It was very satisfying to rip off the paper. Um, revealing that mirror. Luckily, I didn't get any paint on the mirror, which I was so excited. <laughs> so I thought I was going to bleed into the mirror. Ugh, but the end result is just so pretty. I love how it turned out. The shape is just so unique and fun. And it's such a statement piece. So I decided to just hang it up in my entryway for now. I love this project so much and I honestly think anyone can do this and I hope you guys are inspired by this and hopefully do this yourself because it's so fun. Um, thanks for watching and like as always like and subscribe. It really means a lot and thanks for supporting the channel. Bye!